This man right here is about to take the words right out of my mouth. You remember Pablo Escobar? The Colombian cocaine kingpin? Who mercilessly killed opposing drug cartels and mercilessly killed South American Colombian police officers? Anybody who got in his way? But he was kind to the nuns. The nuns saw, uh, the, the average person saw Pablo Escobar as a monster, homicidal monster. But the, the nuns of Colombia saw him as an angel. This man right here, he's about to take the words right out of my mouth. Bombing, knifing, shooting an inhuman thing is a hell of a lot easier than killing a flesh and blood human being. I interviewed this gentleman, his name is John Musgrave, Vietnam veteran. He was featured in Ken Burns' documentary series called The Vietnam War. He was horribly wounded in Vietnam, but before he was wounded, he told the story about when he first killed his first NVA soldier. He shot him and watched him die right in front of him. And John Musgrave was devastated. It, it caught him at the core of his humanity. He, he couldn't deal. I think it's how any of us would feel. Amen. And he said this. These are his words. But after seeing one of his own men step on a landmine, he made a deal with the devil. I said, I will never kill another human being as long as I'm in Vietnam. However, I will waste as many gooks as I can find. <laughs> I'll wax as many dinks as I can find. I'll smoke as many zips as I can find. But I ain't gonna kill anybody. Turn a subject into an object. It's racism 101. So, the Colombian cops were out to get Pablo Escobar. His rival, the his rivals in the drug business, they were out to kill or in prison. Pablo Escobar. So, like the man said, here, after seeing it, when he killed one of the one of the enemy Vietnam the Vietnamese enemies, he was traumatized when he saw that. Human being died when he saw one of his own fellow soldiers blown up by a landmine. He no longer saw those Vietnamese as human beings, he saw them as gooks, dinks, whatever. Same thing with Pablo Escobar, he saw his those out to get him as like cockroaches. And what do you do to a cockroach when it comes in their house? You step on it. You step on it. You crush it. You exterminate it. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh! 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 Like the Daleks. So, Paula Escobar loved the nuns because they were human. And they acted like a human. Well, those Colombian police and the uh, opposing drug rivals were human beings too, but hey, in his mind, he relegated them as cockroaches, as snakes, out to get him. What do you do with, is there, is, if there's a snake in your house? You cut its fucking head off. And throw its body and head in the ditch. And spit. And thank God you're safe. I, I could never kill a human being. I know, uh, that's sad. But my enemies, the bouncers who throw me out of bars, the people who laugh at me because I look like a goopo, I no longer see them as human beings. They're cockroaches. And if they die, good riddance. Praise God. If they're out there to tear me down, I gotta destroy them before they destroy me first. It's like how Storm said. I'm trying to remember. You re you try to reach up and bite me in the neck, I'll rip your fucking head off. Amen and amen. Turn a 
a subject into an object. Make them easier to destroy. Human beings have been doing this to each other since forever. Put a <laughs> yeah. I look at my enemies and those who make fun of me like cockroaches. Not human beings. <laughs> 